Here it is, on demand without apology. So, how does this work? I have a, a litany of questions. Yeah. It just tells me that you just want us to talk to you about Jesus. That's all. I don't want to talk to you about Jesus. I'm yeah, just here it. because I know you guys tried to well, hide this you're in your little PDF. We don't and try to hide anything. Anarchists <laughs> are showing up. We love so. Jesus. Are they black? I love Jesus, and I can right. not believe that's in why Jesus. We I mean, he was a historical that's figure. Right. I won't, I won't deny it. Kind of well, well this is why we love it. You got that on? Oh yeah, I'm getting everything, okay. and it's all it, from the other day too. It's okay. just uh, share this. Yeah, yeah. But you didn't share the whole. Thing. We will, we will. This, point is, this, yeah, is, this sure. is good. This is a good point. You know that Jesus came to this earth, right? That he would suffer and die for your sins. That when you play this back, it'll be used one day. At least the ability that you understand that what he did. When Christ hung on the cross, he paid for my sins. He paid for her sins. He paid for the sins of the world. But the only issue that you have when you die. It's the fact that you didn't believe that God sent it. Is it like a sin uh, credit system? School, it's not a credit system. Me too. No, no, no. I went to Catholic school. I so, do you know, so you know propitiation, that the reason why he shed his blood, right? I I don't know. So he can die for our fucking yeah. sins and we have the body of Christ. I don't know. So I blood you got to eat his body. So his blood can pay for your sins. That that's makes right. a lot of sense. By the shedding of the blood, there could be no remission of sins. That's really why they say that's why I'm just teaching you something what Christians believe. You know, we're just we're aware of I'm I'm aware I of it. She wasn't aware of it though. I well, we both went to Catholic, not together, but we both went went to separate Catholic I schools. Catholic school. So you knew that that Christ and I was discriminated the against there because well, of my family that's issues. Shame so. On that. Which is like, I mean, I just don't believe in it. I, I'm, I don't, I don't deny. I'm an agnostic because I think being an atheist is a little bit like because I can't deny one way or another. I just don't know, but I tend to. So, but I'm just here to voice what I believe, and it's my First Amendment right, just as it's your First Amendment. And one thing I'm going to have to say is that we're all going to one place when we die. We're all going to be yeah, six the dirt. underground. Yeah, that's what you hope. That's your hope. Your hope is that you're going to be another man. Your soul's going to live forever. That's what, that's what I'm curious for you. If you want to say, well, what the heck does this guy care about? We care about the eternal suffering of your soul. That's I care all about we the care suffering about. of individuals. Well, we do too. That's why we're out here about the little baby boys and girls. You see how they suffered in the womb? That's why we care <laughs> yeah, about Yeah, but they're not conscious beings oh, they're conscious until they're 25 listen, weeks. Like listen, scientifically. Right. Can we kill someone who's passed out so. or in a coma? To be honest, yeah, I don't think that. Well, do you your know that there are people in coma? You're that actually. I'm sorry, I really don't. I tend to be a libertarian. I think once you lose the consciousness and you're a vegetable, what's the point? Libertarians are cringe, that's dude. Why you sign, that's why you sign your uh, your I'll little. See you well, we'll see you out there. They can do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Like we care about one thing. We care about whether you think it or not. We care about where people are going to end up. Why we believe what we believe. When, when you have a when you have an experience with God, what you want to do is exp like do share your experience with God. God. I do. I went, I went to the Catholic school for the first well, I, thirteen well, years of my life. So did I, but I never I, understood you know, the understanding of the propitiation, what it really meant for Christ to hang on the cross. Well, then, I never did that. You didn't I understand. When I reached adolescence and I could, you know, read and understand, I started to. So believe why did Christ things. die on this cross for your sins? Why did he die? <laughs> I because he was. Um, Essentially, what he taught is no judgment and don't like discriminate. Don't, yeah, yeah, like no, seriously. No. And then he was want righteous judgment, dude. He was a leftist and he believed stop judging other people, stop discriminating against lepers. John three sixteen is what he said. He said Nicodemus came to see him at night. He was just like what you were like. Yeah, that's the only thing he said. And that was he John saying, no, he blessed said, are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom yeah. of God. Why don't you tell hope. that to Republicans? He was giving the people hope. Hope that yeah. there's eternal life after the suffering of well, I just don't believe that. I don't I know believe that. But that you, you asked a question and said why Jesus came, and then you were answering it. No, I, I believe he was a historical figure That's who had certain beliefs that I actually believe in a lot of what he said. I just don't believe in the whole higher power thing, you know? Which is fine. Well, we were just saying what, why when Jesus said what he came to say. And she went, yeah. losing well, God's name. Right, John 3.16, you heard it thousand times. He said this, you know, God loves me. But he said, this is the condemnation. So Jesus did say this, that the light, Jesus came into the world, but men loved the darkness rather than light. They come into light, lest their deeds be exposed, and they were judged by the light. That's what Jesus taught. 
Okay, well, I believe that I have a moral compass, but I believe that That's you can, your you can have good. your own conscience. Yeah. You can have it without some higher power that tells you in some book that That's what you got. You got it from your higher power, though. Well, you can believe that. I believe that I learned it through reading the teachings of, like, Kant and the categorical imperative. You know, like, that's how I formed my moral compass, not based on, okay. yeah, like, I just right. thought about it. And yeah, so, okay. you know, yeah, well, you know, I'm just here to hang out. I heard about it. and We're not opposing that. We're not no, I know saying you're that not. You and I'm, not, I'm honestly... I'm on not, demand. That's what I'm intrigued by. Yeah, we'll talk about it. I just... It's uh, just you know. No, I'm not one of those. You don't like, think that's an entitlement complex on your your or your movement's part? I, the sign is just a radical sign. I think. But it's not. So it's not literally okay. just like I want this to be on demand, like well, Culver's. I in universal healthcare. So. Um, and abortion is healthcare. Yeah, I believe it to be healthcare. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah, yeah. It is sort of dismembering your kid. You know. Well. It's kind of grody. You can, you can <laughs> think that dude i when I, I used to be like pretty much on that side like throughout my 20s i was i was that way you know i actually don't think i'll ever have an abortion because i'm privileged enough to have access to reproductive health care i'm under my parents insurance is that your However, white privilege it to an extent yeah because my dad grew up in foster care but he was still able to like secure and he didn't graduate high school but he was still able to you know, make a lot of money in a pretty classist, racist system, and a lot of time right, racism stems out of classism. And do you think you know, he got uh, bossing to a better school, or do you think he was disqualified from no, that? No, he for got being... kicked out of four high schools for being a nut job. I'm uh, saying like, <laughs> I think you get extra bossing and like extra programs if you're a POC versus. Uh, you don't quite get that if you're I disagree. White. I went to an MPS school. I went to Rufus King International School. There That's was... probably the only good one. Yeah, well, then no, there's Riverside. Ronald Riverside Reagan. is good. Riverside's fine. You know, I... Uh, high School of the Arts. Those are, like, the only good ones. The Arts is an okay one. Yeah, but those are, those are pretty good ones. And, yeah, I, honestly, I sort of disagree with some of the Rufus King model because it's technically a magnet school. I detest to get into it, and probably the only reason I got in was because I went to a suburban, uh, Catholic, parochial, like, middle school, and so I got probably a better education than most MPS students did. Do you think it's because they skip school a lot? Don't really have dads in the home because feminists encouraged uh, to the destruction of the nuclear think, family, or no? I don't think feminists to, like discourage. They explicitly do. Well, they do. Marxists be nice, and that's not why that's not why there's truancy issues and there's not fathers in the home. A large reason incentivizing because, single motherhood with uh, extra programs. Or because like the fucking CIA brought drugs into the hood in the fucking 1980s. Ricky like, Ross, dude. Like, seriously. These are all canards. Like, These are all canards. I'm not familiar Did Did Ricky word. Ross have any agency in the situation at all, do you I, think? Like, I just, uh, the mass incarceration of, like, black males is a lot responsible for the destruction of the nuclear family. What does mass, define, what does mass incarceration mean? Mass incarceration means that black males tend to get arrested for nonviolent crimes three times more than white males, so I've already we already discussed this yesterday. Well, you're just you're wrong though. I, I guess I'm you're wrong. omitting you're omitting so many facts. Like you're just you're looking at a statistical disparity and you're omitting the fact what that are they're the overrepresented in every other category of violent crime. Whoa. Like six to eight times more so, likely, and like in, in Milwaukee especially. I mean, eighty percent, eighty percent of the people who are shot in this city are black. Yeah, they're, I'm not going to lie. So did, whites, did those, white cops do that? I don't understand. I'm not going to, like, deny the fact that black on black crime is a Oh, you'll get, you'll get attacked by leftists for even bringing up that phrase, you'll get attacked by leftists. Okay, well, I don't care. I have my values and I have my beliefs, which are based on facts. And I do acknowledge that black on black crime... Oh, it's black on everyone crimes. No, I mean, I'm going to get banned no, if I even say this, no, but... I actually disagree with it's black that. on it's gay, crazy. black on elderly, black on Asian, black on white, black okay. on... The... Okay. And... Black on the I public transit that system. I large stem of that has to do with, like, classism, racism, not having solid job opportunities. I mean, audit, like, you saw the riots a couple of years ago. 
in Sherman, Sherman Park. Park. Well, that yeah. was because a black cop defended Which, himself against a black a, suspect. Yeah, and the suspect was running out of. It was a really sketchy situation. He pulled a gun on the dude, but and it was a black of cop. The anger that was kind of fomented in that situation has to do with a lack of like well-paying jobs, it was, <laughs> like. Which has to do with manufacturing being automated, which we can't get away from. But instead of like, you know, subsidizing better, like maybe drop job training, instead we give tax breaks to like fucking Dollar Tree. Like, look at Janesville. It's a nightmare. Like, there's just a lot of systemic issues, and you can't. Like a lot of times, that's what crime stems from, and I don't think throwing them in a prison is necessarily the solution. So, like. I, I just don't think that. I don't believe prisons. I don't believe prisons are good rehabilitative like constructs. They have a sixty-seven percent uh, recidivism rate because you walk them up in a pen. I mean, seriously, look at MSDF. Twenty-two black people have died in that fucking facility. In from the past what? Year. Like from what? From a lack, giving a lack of resources, suicide from being tortured and put into solitary confinement. Like not being given solitary. Water. Okay, there's so many. There's so much context that I want to ask about. Are they in solitary just cause, or are they trying to? These are they trying to shank even, people? Are they trying to beat other beat up other inmates or rape them in the shower? Why are they in solitary? Um, I don't know. I there's I, so honestly, many. I told you my piece. I told like a lot of like in a most of the cases. It was from negligence on behalf of the fucking people running that facility. So, if, if MSDF, by the way, is only for incarcerating people who have violated their parole, I would be. For, this is what I hear from the activists. Uh, I would actually agree that it's a little, a little hasty or excessive, but uh, we I have a lot of crime. In, in the, we're getting into the bigger issue. We have a lot of crime in this the city. Best way to prevent people in jails from committing crimes again and that's like we should really probably disappear criminals from society like entirely so we should just kill them we should probably well if they do something severe enough probably like fucking using drugs no like selling fentanyl i don't know i'm sort of on the side with drugs i mean i'm consistent in my beliefs like your body is your private property to do with with which you please so this, if I own anything, I own my fucking flesh and blood. So if I want to fucking shoot up, which is not what I'm doing, I actually have a huge history of, like, drug usage in my family, but um, I that should be my right. So. If people are selling, like, fatal drugs, though, don't you think they're a little bit predatory and should probably be culled from this planet? I think that if you, you don't think so? decriminalize and legalize all drugs and regulate them, there's, a, like, a way smaller likelihood for that to occur and for unpure drugs to be added like take portugal they saw a 50 percent reduction in drug like overdose deaths by like in like a couple of years i don't know i know the i don't know the exact statistic but i've read up like quite a bit on it i mean that's fine and everything but it's not i mean mass incarceration i i, I used to buy by the way again i used to believe in all that stuff i find that to be a, a, a ridiculous term i mean they've all had a trial they've all committed a crime and they're doing the yeah, time but some people there's no such thing as okay, mass okay. incarceration yeah there is though because rich people can afford like better lawyers and a lot of times poor people are stuck with public defenders who have up to like 90 cases a week so how is that justice in your opinion if a rich person can afford like a better lawyer who can better like more equipedly argue a case how is that and, mass incarceration well no what is mass incarceration to mass incarceration what is it though i don't mass understand incarceration is like just a shit ton of people being incarcerated okay well what <laughs> are incarcerated for non-violent offenses and that's it that's all they're in there for they're not, like, two, no, two resisting three, arrest, attacking a police officer, maybe assaulting no, somebody else, them, having an illegal firearm on them at the same two, time as having an eighth. Them are not. You're talking about that one-third percentage. You don't think, and you also don't think that that's sort of skewed by the fact that there's more of other crimes in these areas, that cops are in those areas more no, I'm not because of that. that. You're like, mass incarceration doesn't exist, and I just said. Because they're committing yeah, crimes. Two thirds and, of which are nonviolent offenses, which I really don't think locking you up with with the other one third is really going to help you not commit those offenses because then you've got something on your record you've been out of work for a long amount of time how the fuck are you supposed to read you can get back into you society? can get a degree in jail 
Yeah, and that's great, but it's, like, easier said than done. Have you been in jail? Thankfully, no. Thankfully, no. I've had a lot of family members in jail, and I guess I empathize with it on a more personal level, and you're just going to be like, well, that's anecdotal evidence. However, I just gave you a shit ton of statistics to, you know, reiterate my point. They're so, hyper-specific. You're talking about no, non-violent drug offenses. Two-thirds. You could be omitting, you could be omitting other things they've... You could be omitting other things that they've done. You're omitting other things that they no, potentially I'm not. have That's done. Two thirds of which are nonviolent offenses. Plus, what other rap sheet do they have? I don't know. Do you, are, are, is this the old You're canard? The on the, is this the old canard the like, like a like an overhyped? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm stupid, but I don't like know. an overhyped narrative that like Jamal's just innocently walking down the street with a blunt in his pocket, and now he's mass incarcerated. Like that. That's a canard. You must understand, right? Yeah, but that's not what I'm mass referring incar- to. Mass incarceration. Well, you said you said two thirds of them and are only in there, only in there and because if you reach innocent. In his pocket to show it's a police officer. Maybe he'll get shot. Like yesterday with all those cops around me, I was scared to reach into my bag for a fucking cigarette. And you know, dude, I'm kind of here to listen to what they have to say because I'm the kind of person that likes to. Hear. Hands up, don't shoot is also a myth. No, like all of that shit is a myth. Like you know propagated by ma- uh, social media. Hashtag slacktivist bullshit. So you've never seen the videos of people just getting shot constantly, like constantly. What is constantly in a in a country of three hundred million? Uh, yeah, ten, tens of mil- tens of millions of which are African American. Like what? How many? <laughs> like a dozen or two a year are shot by no, cops. It's more and than even that. even I don't. No, no. It's about two hundred black people are shot, and most of those had a gun or so- a knife or something. And I think about two dozen were unarmed. Was it Philando Castile who had a, like, concealed carry weapon? Philando was shot by a Latino cop, first of all. That That was in Minneapolis. Second of all, he was reaching when he was told not to. I'm an ACAB type. That's fine. You can be ACAB, but also acknowledge that they're not systemically racist. That both of those can be true at the same time. Just because it was a Latino cop. Okay, I actually think a lot of, like, shooting of, uh, like, unarmed suspects has to do a lot more with fear than it does to do with race. My dad was almost shot. You're more likely. You're more likely to be shot as a cop. There was, there was a miscommunication. You're more fucking likely to die as an armorist than you are to be a cop. Okay, so like. So what? I mean, the point is, the point is, is that you're more likely as a cop to be shot than a black person is to be shot by a cop. Or did I say that right? A cop is more likely to be shot by a black person than vice versa. I'm honestly not here to discuss race relations with you. I've already given you my piece with it. I'm here to listen to what they have to say. Like, you have to know your enemy to defeat your enemy. Okay, dude? (laughs) Why are these guys in particular your enemy? I... They're so... I just think they're creepy as shit, honestly, dude. And you know what? They are my enemy because I have... You know what? I want women to have access to abortion. I don't think that makes me a bad person. A uh, fetus doesn't become conscious until the 25th week of pregnancy. You all right, dude? A bug flew in my face. Um, I'm good. A fetus doesn't become conscious until the 25th week of pregnancy. Most abortions are banned after that point. They're pushing for so abolition the, uh, of the abortion. Does the on-demand part increase, like, include increasing the <laughs> I time sort frame? Of, uh, I, the sign here is a radical display because I want it to raise questions. I sort of want it to. Do you ask for you ask for this? You ask for this, and you get this. You yeah, ad, because ask that's for what radicals do is they push for like super radical ideas, and in that, in turn, more feasible ideas on the same line of thinking are adopted. Like that's what radicalism is. Like I'm conservative. Well, I, I used to be a radical. I'm more conservative now. You can be a radical conservative. I, I guess I, that's probably more ad- accurate. You can have radical conservative ideas that might push it in that direction. And I think, well, they would call me a reactionary if I was... Uh, wait, so Maybe where... I am a reactionary. Wait, where are the... It's fucking hot as shit out. Where, where are the uh, black blockers? Uh, I created an event for this and nobody showed up, so... Um, I guess I'm here by myself, which I don't mind. I, you know. That's what's up. People can get mad at me. I don't really care. This is my first amendment right, and this is their first amendment right. I'm not one of the liberals that says they should be able to demonstrate they should. I, I'm i not into, like, I think that regulating free speech is a 
really slippery slope and hurts people on more radical sides of things. So I, it's it's good that you acknowledge that. Yeah, I, I have a lot of trouble with people on the left movement because I'm like, no, just let people say what they want to fucking say. Hate speech sucks, and we can go confront them. But you know what? When it starts getting to the point where they're taking it off the internet and they're taking it off of forums for free speech, it gets really scary because... They don't think it'll ever be used against them. It will be used against us. They don't it think it'll... Is, so. But that's why that's why I resent getting called a Nazi supporter or whatever because I'm defending... I didn't call you a Nazi. I know that. I know that. I'm saying but that the left in general will, in fact, call me that when I say, hey, just let them speak. And they're not even extreme. Yeah, no, and people say the same shit to me. Okay, so it probably is a good idea to check them out.